Hello guys, today we will go over topic 1.3.2, Computer Architecture. This section is solely based on memorizing, so if you're already familiar with the fetch execute cycle in the von Neumann architecture model, you'll find this section very easy. Explaining this cycle in detail will just be enough for this topic. So to illustrate the whole cycle as a visual presentation, imagine there is a series of instructions and their addresses that the computer has to execute, like here. And there's our first register, PC. PC is a program counter which holds the address of an instruction. So in this slide right here, PC holds the address of the first instruction, 1. So PC holds the address of next instruction to be fetched. So that next instruction is sent to MAR by address bus. And after it is sent, then it holds it is now holding the address of current instruction to be processed. However, it is incremented after and it will come back and hold the address of next instruction to be fetched. So this bus here, you can think as a pathway. So we have to fetch the first instruction. So PC will hold the instruction of the first address here, one, and this instruction is sent to MER. So now MER also has the address one. So MAR is a memory address register. It temporarily stores the address of next instruction to be fetched. So MAR goes to location in memory where instruction is stored and finds the instruction. Once the instruction is identified, the instruction is sent to MDR from the memory by the data bus because instruction is data. So to show you in this slide, from memory, the instruction is sent to MDR, so MDR now has the instruction of the first address, which is add 7. So memory data register is a temporary storage between the CPU and the primary memory, and then it sends the instruction that it received from memory to CIR by data bus, because we're, we're still de dealing with instruction, which is data. Just to briefly talk about memory unit, MAR and MDR are in the same memory unit, meaning that the data and instructions are stored in the same memory unit. To briefly talk about this memory unit, this memory unit is basically a RAM. It is a primary memory and a volatile memory, and it holds the instruction and data that is in use currently. So moving on to CIR and the control unit. Control unit, contains CIR, which is current instruction register. And control unit is a unit where it de decodes the instruction after the instruction is fetched. So once the by data bus, the instruction is sent from MDR to CIR, as seven in this case, control unit will decode as seven and manage operation in CPU by control bus to actually execute that instruction. So to illustrate, control unit will send signal by control bus to arithmetic logic unit to actually execute this instruction called S7. So the arithmetic logic unit where the instruction is executed, it performs arithmetics and logical operations. An accumulator is a register that is in the arithmetic logic unit and it holds data temporarily that is used in the calculation. So that's one cycle completed. And to summarize, so summary, summarize meaning how you can answer to the question of how the instruction is fetched and executed in the computer. So PC holds the address of the instruction and the, that address is held in PC, is sent to MAR by the address bus. So MAR goes to location in memory where instruction is stored, and that instruction is sent to MDR by data bus. And that instruction is now sent to CIR, which is current instruction register, and the control unit sends signals to manage the process by control bus to actually ex execute that instruction. Now the arithmetic logic unit performs operations and the instruction is decoded and executed. The, inc 
the value of PC being incremented can happen at any moment between these stages. And that's it for the cycle of von Neumann architecture. Just one thing I want to mention is about IAS, which is Immediate Access Tor. So Immediate Access Tor holds data and instructions when they are loaded from main memory and are waiting to be processed. So if you can't, kind of don't get what this means, you can think these, this as an intermediary stage between the main memory and the registers. Yep, I think you just have to know it holds data and instruction that are waiting to be processed. So that's it for 1.3.2 computer architecture and hope this video really helped you. And if you think this video is helpful, please subscribe and press like. Thank you.